Hi everyone, back again. This time onto the bumper on the Wednesday final uh, final race of the day, and uh, I'll start off with this one myself. I think um, now I have put a, a bet. This was my second bet of my anti-post portfolio this season, um, and I put up. Let's be clear about it. To find out within about three days that it was highly likely is not even going to go at the festival. So it was a great a great start. Um, He's obviously come out and he has been beaten, been beaten uh, since then. So I've switched my allegiances. I'm going to leave him alone. Um, I'm just going to write it off as a, as a, because even if he does go now, I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll win. I don't think he's lived up to um, what I thought he was going to be. And my pick would be um, there was obviously a horse. Uh, that looked as though he was going to win by a country mile in reality check that unfortunately um, lost his life in his last race, uh, breaking, I think he broke his leg uh, coming around, but he looked like an absolute um, beast of a horse. And I'm going to go for Highland Charge, who beat reality check. Um, I think it was on reality check's debut. Um, so just going by that form and how good I think that reality check was going to be, um, I'm, and at fourteen to one, I'm going to go for No Meads, um, No Meads Highland Charge. I do think uh, Sagerhard is the likely winner. Um, again, he's a, he's a hot favourite though, so I'm trying to stay away from the fa favourites where possible and find something at a bit of a price. Um, so yeah, my my pick in this one with the with the three twenty quid bet would be Highland Charge each way. Andrew. Yeah, uh, not a race that I'd have much of a say in from a betting perspective. Um, I would probably leave it alone, but as we are doing these uh, 20 euro bets, i uh, got to give something, and I do think the favourite is very strong, uh, Sir Gerhard. I think the horse you put up, Gary, that um, Gavin Cromwell horse, I think is a proper good horse. He mightn't go to Cheltenham, but I do think he is a very good horse. And he, he tossed him away pretty impressively now at Navin. Navin's very stiff as well, so that's a good sign from a Cheltenham point, pointer. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know with these Mullins horses, um, there's an awful, awful lot of talk about Ramillies, about Kilcrews. I think the, the favourite is rock solid, and he's still 3-1. to one. And if you were to pin me down for my bet, I would say him. Uh, but it's yep. probably not a race that I'd have much of a play in. Yeah, that's that's fair enough, mate. Fair enough, Mark. Um, I know you've obviously got a selection up in this, haven't you? In your anti-post bets, um, I've only got yeah, I've only got three bets up so far this season. And Kul Kruitz won. I was really impressed with him when he won that bumper. The seconds come out and won. It was over two miles four, so he may be, you know, a bit of a slow boat that needs a trip. But Kul Kruitz was really impressive beating him. He's got. I still think he's got a good chance. It was, you know, when you've got these bets up, you don't want to see the favourite come out and thrash something that's pretty decent because it's obviously meaning that you've got a tough rival to beat. And so Gerard's going to be really tough to beat. I think Ramelis is going to be tough to beat as well from his own yard. But mm -hmm. I've put uh, Kilkruba up. Tony Mallins had a really high opinion on him last season. Patrick Mallins was... Very, seemingly very impressed when he did his interview the day after and I think he's got a really good chance and I'll have to stick mine I'd probably go each way now but after seeing Sir Gerhardt's latest win I'd put £10 each way on Kill Cruet. but you can never tell in these races last season no one thought about Fernie Hollow after two defeats and then all of a sudden he got his act together with a hood on and he came and beat appreciate it from his own yards, don't even know with Willie Mallins if you've got the right one. His, never mind, is he going to beat Yeah, the yeah. He's but, going to have a few, yeah, a few in there, isn't he? Well, I mean, he's got all those mares as well. Brandy Lad, Take T. He had the one that uh, beat Ginto. Um, so, I mean, he's got five or six that he could go here, but I'll stick with my original selection and go each way and come through it. Yeah, yeah. I, I I do think you'll see one or two come to the floor, won't you? There's a lot of you know a lot of them out there that have only had one run and uh, and one run and one, you know. So there's a lot a lot still to come out. So yeah, I think um, it's one to certainly keep an eye on rather than anything. Okay, so that is the uh, bumper done. Uh, we will catch up with you soon. Where we'll move on to uh, some of the races on Thursday. Speak soon. <laughs>